Hello, welcome back to my channel. Ignore the part where I say I am um, using that jar to refine. I ended up using a beaker I ordered one through because the jar broke. Uh, thanks and enjoy the video. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be refining our Intel Pentiums. Um, I'll have to refine it in this, not a beaker, because my beaker broke, so fingers crossed it won't um, crack. So I've got a little dish to put underneath in case it does. As you can see, some foils have gone through already. They're not completely done in copper chloride, but uh, yeah, it won't be a problem because um, you can straight refine them as they are, so. You don't even need to stick them in copper chloride, but it's much cleaner, much less refines needed if you just do it this way. Put it in copper chloride first, so as you can see, pretty much done. They've only been in there for five days, so it's never expect them to go that fast. Normally it takes a month or more. But anyway, I fill it all through and I come back when it's done. Fill it when it's going well. Hello, I'm back again. Um, I think I've recorded everything so far. I'm going to stick the flash on. Yeah, that's better. As you can see, I'm leaving the ceramics in to refine because um, there's still gold attached to it. I could have left it more time in the copper chloride, would have been a bit nicer. But it seems pointless, as you can see. Plenty of gold there. This was from, I think it was 19 uh, Intel Pentiums. Obviously, you'd have seen before this video, this um, part of the video. So all we're going to do is transfer that over to my new beaker, my other one cracked, and this is nice and small. So I reckon it's going to be a lot nicer to use. So I'm just going to transfer it over like that, throw all this stuff into there, and uh, it's going to be a bit of a dirty refine, but it's not. I don't think it'll be as bad as some of the previous ones I've done. Um, we'll just fill all the ceramic off when all the gold is dissolved. There'll be quite a bit of copper, so the solution will be green. Yeah, I'll do it now and come back when it's all done. Maybe a bit of a tight squeeze in my beaker. There's even more I've got to add still, so <laughs> gonna be a lot of AR. So I've got to add all this, so I'm gonna wash all this down, uh, pour it all in, and then just pull the water out. Like decant it without any foils falling out, because it's quite thick foils, so they don't really float like many foils will. So I'll come back when it's all done. So you've done that, uh, cleaned out as much as possible. It's nowhere near as much as the beaker's used now. Uh, um add the hydrochloric acid now and oh, I've got some foils on me. Yeah, it's all clean, there's no acid on it, that's one wearing no gloves and touching it. It's all uh, cleaned with water. I'm gonna put the hydrochloric acid in and add some nitro salts, give it a mix and just leave it on the hot plate until all the metals are dissolved. Bed to towel because obviously the swamp is gonna be clean. It might look a bit gross in the uh, refine, but it'd be good. I'm going to sort all these foils out first. There's foils everywhere. I'll be back in a sec. So now we'll actually do the refine. Some fresh hydrochloric. I'll try to push it under the hydrochloric. I'll be back when I've done that. So a bit of a mistake, it spilt, so I've managed to collect all the foils, none's lost, so all good. Um, 
so I managed to get it in as good as possible.
So I gave it a wash. This is what we're left with. We're finished drying, it's still a little bit wet, and then I'll weigh it up and see what we got. So we're uh, just weighing it all net up now. Uh, that's what it looked like after it's mounted. That's what um, the powder looks like. This is what we got. It's a nicer powder. Let me put this all on so you can see. Oh, I can't. I have to stop the video and start. There we go. Nice powder. So what we'll do is we'll weigh this pot. So it's 5.87. So we can tear that. Just in, I put, remember that number just in case the scales go wrong. <laughs> I can do it all again. So we should cancel it out to zero. I'm doing this one-handed. I might pause the video and pour it in. I didn't trust myself. Oh, it's turning itself off. The scale is turning itself off whilst I was pouring it in. So 7.01 and we add 5.8. I can't remember I'll go check. The scale is a 5.87. So that means we've got 1.14 grams of pure gold from 19 Intel Pentium CPUs. Not brilliant, but I'll go for the waste and check if there's any more and I'll keep you posted if we do. Oh, <laughs> maybe a little bit more then. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment down below on any video ideas you have. Bye-bye.